Welcome. I'm Stephanie with Youth Runner Magazine, and I'm talking to Heather Camp. You might know her as Heather Dornadin from when she ran at the University of Minnesota. Um, she's joined here with her dog, Ricky. Welcome, Ricky and Heather. Hi. <laughs> Hi, thank you. So just a little background on Heather. She's had a successful career at the University of Minnesota. She was the most decorated uh, track and field athlete that they have seen going through the university. She was also the 2006 indoor 800-meter uh, national champion. She competed in every NCAA championship in cross-country, indoor, and outdoor track during her career. And now she's a professional runner with Team USA Minnesota and is sponsored by ASICS. So you have grown up in Minnesota and obviously went to college there, are still training there. Um, how do you deal with the harsh Minnesota winters, and do you change your training at all? Um, I would say, I mean, this winter's actually been quite a blessing. We haven't had to change much at all, but um, usually when we get a lot of snow, and especially when you're dealing with ice, that's the time that it really gets dangerous out on the roads. Um, I do a lot more things on the treadmill um, and the indoor track. It's nice that indoor season is during the winter anyway, so we're getting out there and doing our fastest workouts on the track, and then um, if I have to do like a tempo or something that's a little bit faster than just an easy slog outside in the snow, then I'll just hit a treadmill instead of um, going outside. But I don't know. I think we like to think from Minnesota that we're um, sort of tougher because of the things that we have to go through in terms of the weather. Um, and we're really lucky with Team USA Minnesota. They give us um, lifetime fitness memberships. Okay, so okay. we have access all over the place um, to be able to go in and use the facilities there. That's yeah. awesome. I would definitely agree. Minnesota is a little bit colder than Wisconsin, I'd say. So it definitely will make you a tough runner. And yeah. it was really obvious how tough of a runner you were, um, especially at the 2008 Big Ten Championships when you ran that 600 meter. Now, for viewers who haven't seen the video, there's this video called The Race, which uh, shows Heather running this race in which she trips and is, it looks like you're stepped on, but you get up and catch everyone and end up winning the race in a 600 meter, which is like almost unheard of. But um, combined with those videos, it has reached over a million views. So it's very popular. What was going through your head when you were in that race while you were laying on the floor? Um, gosh, I mean, well, just before the start of that race, I think a little bit of context is always fun to share with this because it was our indoor Big Ten championships. Um, we had won the year before. We were going for another win. Um, and the point scores were really close. So I kind of just got to the line. I already raced twice the day before and ran the mile final like 45 minutes before that. So yeah, it was at a point where I needed to believe that all things are possible um, yeah. and just go for it. So um, we started the race. And yeah, when I cut in a little bit too close, obviously, and got tripped from behind a little bit, um, I think I got out the words, oh, no, as I was falling. <laughs> um but honestly, like afterwards, I, I never knew I was on the ground like that. I just never really reached my consciousness that I was there. Um, my parents and I were driving to get dinner that night afterwards, and they're like, Heather, that was so amazing. And I'm like, I don't know why everyone's making such a big deal out of this. Like, I just barely stumbled and got up and kept running. And they said, no, you need. we have the video camera in the backseat. Go, go look at this. So I did, and that was the first time that I knew I was actually kind of bouncing on my stomach on the, on the track there. Yeah. So. I think that was the big key is not even realizing that it was so bad. I kind of just thought I put my hands down and kept running. <laughs> That's so funny. I, I mean, yeah. when you're in the race, you're obviously in this zone. So it, I can imagine that you probably didn't think yeah. anything of it. But I'm yeah. sure it was a shocker when you saw the video, how long it actually did take before you got up. Yeah, so. it was kind of fun afterwards to try and actually measure my splits for that last lap to see how fast I ran. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it, was, it was definitely a matter of momentum just coming through, and um, I thought I should at least try and catch one person and finish the race and everything, just to get some point scoring for the team and everything. And then as the runners just kept getting closer and closer, I thought, hey, this might be possible. And then the announcer, I heard him say, and watch out for Heather Dornadin. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, watch out for me. I can do this. This. So oh, that's awesome. I, it's just a really magical moment to have at home at the U of M indoor track. So it was fun. Yeah, I'm sure. That's awesome. Well, it obviously proved your mental strength. Like that is something that's not a lot of people would do. Um, and you've already have like you had this target on your back. You were a national champion. You were at the top of your game. How do you deal with the mental stresses and anxieties of racing at that level? Um, you know, I never really, I think when you, 
are at the top of your level, the thing that I really enjoy about it is that there's a little bit less pressure. You can just have that that confidence and um, assurance in yourself and know that what you're doing is something that you're good at and you can um, take care of yourself and um, just really go out there and do your best. But um, I think some of the things like I'm I'm really strong in my faith and so I'm I'm definitely praying before my races and just asking for strength and safety and um, everything while I'm out there. But um, yeah, I think it's 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 easier then than it is now for me to um, really be confident in my situation when I step to the line. Yeah. So is it different now that you're a professional athlete? Do you see new struggles? Um, yeah, I would say so. The transition has been interesting. I've noticed that I've really needed to work on just um, believing in myself and um, having that same mentality that when I step to the line that – um, it might, it could be anyone's day. I think when I first um, sort of started running professionally, I thought, well, these people have a lot more experience than me. Mm-hmm. They're getting paid for this when I wasn't yet. And um, so obviously they should beat me. And I think the reason that I was so successful in college is I really didn't know what was going on when I started. When I won that national championship, I didn't know who was in the race and I didn't know how fast they had run. I just thought, well, I'm used to trying to go out there and win races. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah. um, I've been really practicing to have that mentality in my professional career now mm-hmm. um, to be able to carry that over and just really rise to the competition that's around me regardless of how good they are. Yeah, it is hard to forget people that you know how, how well they've done and what they've accomplished already. But you just have to go back to that video of that race yeah. you fell and you can know that you did it. But So what types of goals do you have now for your career? What's, what's ahead? Um, well, I'm just kind of starting my outdoor season training right now. So, um, the Olympic trials are the summer. It'll be the end of June and the beginning of July. Um, so my biggest goal right now is to try and make that team and go to London this summer. Um, and I'll run the eight, probably also run the 1500. Um, the 800 is first in the order of events at the trials and then the 15 is afterwards. So if I weren't to make the team in the eight, then I try in the 15 as well. Um, but I think, just my my big goals is I really want to break two minutes in 800, okay. um, regardless of where that places me or what teams that put me on. It's just um, something I've been super close to for um, a long time. I ran 201 my sophomore year of college, and I just finally ran two flat this past summer. So mm-hmm. I'm getting closer. Um, so I think that's one really big driving goal for me. That's awesome. <laughs> well, we hope you make the team. Thank you. Um, what's one of the coolest things about being a uh, professional athlete? Um, I think one of my favorite things is being able to travel. Um, within the last year, I got to go to China and Mexico and Puerto Rico and Switzerland and Italy and just all over the place. So um, just really being able to have that opportunity to go those places and see so many things that I probably wouldn't um, if I just kind of had a nine to five job and um, did right after I got out of college. So I feel like this is a time to kind of extend my childhood a little bit and explore and really just um, pursue this dream that I have and see what I'm made of. Awesome. Well, hopefully you get another trip overseas to London this summer and we'll be cheering for you. Thanks. Yeah, so thanks for talking with me and all of you viewers, you can follow Heather on Facebook and you can follow her blog which is www.heatherkampf that's k a m p f .blogspot.com and you can see how she goes through this outdoor season. So thanks again guys.